Hi everybody. This video is to show you how to make one classic Montessori material with the resources at home. Nowadays we are at home and children want to do some material, some Montessori material that's familiar to them. How to make it at home. And today I have taken up to make 100 board. So what you need is just 100 pennies. Okay. Thank you, Mani, for giving me some of the pennies. And you make, just take a printer paper and make 100 squares or a grid. Just using marker and a ruler. You can, you can take a printout. You can do it on a thicker paper and laminate it for longer lasting. But I'm just showing you with bare minimum resources at home. So this is just a printer paper made the grid with marker and the ruler and put it in a page protector. This is the blank one. This represents the 100 board. You can even do a, into a thicker paper and put it on a frame so that, take the glass out and put it in the frame so that it actually resembles the 100 board at the classroom which has the four sides to it. So this is the bare minimum. You can do it on a thicker paper, you can do it on a colored paper, you can put it on a frame, you can laminate it. This is just printer paper with the grid drawn in, put it in a page protector. This is a hundred board. And every materials comes with a control of error for the children. This is for them to correct themselves or start as a motivator for them to look and match. So this is just the same grid and just type out the numbers in it. You can make a printout of it and put it in a page protector. And then we need, of course, we need pennies. So I took 100 pennies and then I spray painted them with white. You can use any color you want, but white works perfect. And my daughter did this, so this has been set for drying now. So I spray painted each and every penny into white. Yep, on both sides. And then just using a black marker, you can just write the numbers, just like that. Okay, so here I have the same kind of containers and I have divided the numbers into tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, and the rest. So you can put this in a, the same size containers if you can find you can put it in tens or for the older children you can put it all hundred pennies in a jar or a box with a lid on so that they can take it out and start sorting it out by themselves but this uh, this lesson I'm going to show you so that you can start it with the first years so I have the numbers in tens I'm going to adjust my computer so that you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the, take out the other boxes. Just use the first 10 boxes. I have my number board right here and I have my controller filler right next to it. Okay. I hope you can see it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out each pennies and look at the number and say the number seven, 10. You don't have to put it in order. Three, six, eight, five, four, two, one and nine. Okay, now I have all the numbers laid out and I have my controller referrer. And I go and look at the first one and say, what number is that? How does, and they will say one. Let's look for one. You can take the one and Put it ne right next to the number one and say, okay, one. And then put it just like that onto the first square. 
What number comes next? Two. Find the two, match it next to it. And then comes three. Find the three, match it. What number comes next? Four. That is the four right next to it. And then comes five. And then comes six. So six, did you see that the circle is on the bottom? Yeah, six, let's find six. There you go, six. Then comes seven. See that matching seven and then comes eight. And then comes nine. And then comes 10. 10 has two numbers, did you see? There's a one and a zero. So there you go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So to do the next one, you take the next box, which has from the 10 to 20, lay it out, match it, and put it down. So the good thing about these pennies are, it fits the grid the right way. If you see it, it fits each grid perfectly. For the younger kids, they can do it one box at a time. And as they know the numbers, they can go to the next box. Now for the older kids, what you can do is you can take all the pennies, put it in one jar, ask them to sort it out and do it from one to 100. So one, two, 100. Other game that we extensions that we play is, we will say, hey, let's count by twos. So we'll just take two, then comes four, six, eight. So you find only those pennies and put it out and counting by twos, threes, fours, go on. You can do skip counting that way. So this is a very versatile, um, lesson which can be given to any age of kids. That's why I thought this will be the first lesson that we can make at home so that you can do it with your children. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please do email me. Thank you.